Joining me now, Jim Jordan, ranking member of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, I got to tell you, I've been around here mm -hmm. longer than you have. For a long time in this city, I've seen a lot. This was one of the most disgusting yep. displays. And in both instances, I want to get re your reaction. Well, no, but you, th this is this is beyond beyond you, now. You had, it, you had it exactly right. When your entire focus is on attacking and stopping the president, you can't do what's best for the country. Um, yet in spite of that, this is the amazing thing, and you, you had this in your, in your angle. Uh, in spite of that, the president's record in two and a half years of achieving good things for the country is unbelievable. I mean, you, you, I always go down the list. Regulations reduced, taxes cut, economy judges. growing at an amazing rate. Gorsuch and Kavanaugh in the court and a lot of other judges confirmed. We're out of the Iran deal. The embassies in Jerusalem, hostages home from North Korea. NAFTA, the new NAFTA, the USMCA, ready to go. Wait, 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 but, the, but, Congressman, they not only won't work with Trump, their, their entire modus operandi right now is to slash at him yep. up to 2020. So we're going to get into this crisis at the border, which has now reached epic proportions. Sure um, but I want to play this for you just for just from chuckles. MSNBC's Chuck Todd says that the Republican Party tonight is in danger because they only have really accomplished one thing. Let's watch. Everybody else is going along with us. Like, do you I mean careful catching this car? It seems like you're playing with matches near a gas tank. You, Republicans, at some point, do they want to sit here and have their only accomplishment be protecting Trump? Well, I, like you said, we got Gorsuch and Kavanaugh on the court. We're out of the Iran deal. The embassies in Jerusalem, hostages have come home from North Korea. The economy is growing at 3.2 percent, lowest unemployment in 50 years. I think that's a pretty good. That's record. a pretty thing, good thing to protect Taxes that agenda. Cut, regulations <laughs> reduced. I think it's a pretty good record to run on. Um, I think the bigger question is what you raised. The only thing the Democrats are going to have to run on is attacking the president, who's responsible for all those good things. And they are so focused on attacking him. They actually have these secret memorandums of understanding where the various key chairmen, the Oversight Committee, the, the Judiciary Committee, the uh, Financial Services, the Ways and Means, and, and, of course, the Intel Committee with Chairman Schiff, they have these memorandum, uh, basic contracts saying, here's how we're going to coordinate our attacks on the president because our singular focus is going after the guy who has helped the could, two and a half years of all the great things that have happened was it, in the country. Could the president have gone forward with the meeting and been, and I'm reading some of the Republican mm -hmm. criticism, you know it's all Bush people, sorry, but gone through with the meeting and worked out some deal with them and shown that he's the bigger person? Would that have been smarter that, that's, for him? That's the president's call. I will tell you what, though. You, I think you put any, any American, any human being in that situation where they, they're criticizing you a couple hours before coming into the meeting, where they got this memorandum of understanding, coordinated attack on you, every angle you can think of, asking for eight years of your business records, eight years of your of your uh, banking records, asking for your tax records. I mean, that's dental. what we have. You forgot dental that's records. That's what we have. So the Ways and Means Committee, I want his tax record. I want the, his tax return. The oversight Committee, give me eight years of his business But they records. say it's legitimate oversight. They Maxine say Waters, legitimate eight years oversight. of his banking records. Be before he was even a candidate for office. So uh, the other thing I think, I think they're nervous about the real investigation. The real investigation is the one that Bill Barr. That's the cover-up. See, they're doing the cover-up. They want to the cover up the Struck page and the uh, the never, We talked about this last week. We never forget what what Bill Barr said. He said there was a crisis of leadership at the upper echelon of the FBI. We know that was the case. He said spying did occur. He said third, there's a basis for my concern about the spying that took place. And then fourth, he used two terms that should frighten every one of your viewers, every single American. He used the term unauthorized surveillance and political surveillance. And Bill Barr and John Durham and his team are committed to finding out how this crazy thing started. And all the evidence is seeming to point to the FBI was out to get the president. And he's going to get to the. That's the investigation that counts, and that's the one that I think scares all these people, and that's why they're. That's they're why they have scrambling. to double down. Like exactly. I love this obstruction exactly. in plain exactly sight. This right. is like a new lingo. Obstruction in plain sight. She repeated that several times the last couple of days. Okay, speaking of your pal Adam Schiff, um, he was he was wrestling with the impeachment question today. Let's watch. I do think that that has to be weighed though against the the other concern, which is what does an acquittal say? Because then you have a, an adjudication that this conduct is not an impeachable offense. Um, and that is the dilemma that we are stuck between. Um, both are equally unpalatable. Now, think about this. They're not going to try to impeach, impeach. No way. They're not going to. Because if we did, Senate might not convict. In other words, again, no collusion, no obstruction. Yes. So th that the Senate would come to the same conclusion as... Uh, as as Mueller and Barr. Yeah, and, and let's be honest, they're already doing impeachment. They just 
They just won't formally call it that. They won't take the vote and say that's what, character. that's what they want to do. They're, they're basically doing it. And the thing that I come back to is the guy who's been on the Oversight Committee for a long time, this is not legitimate. When we were in control and it was President Obama, we did legitimate oversight. We actually looked into when the IRS targeted people for their political beliefs. We looked into the scandal that was fast and furious where there was gun running and an agent, a border agent, lost his life because of that. We looked into the fact that when the tragedy in Benghazi happened and they tried to say, oh, it was the catalyst for that was some crazy video, we looked into that. And of course, we are currently looking into, and most importantly, Bill Barr is looking into, how the FBI can use one party's opposition research document as the basis to go spy on the Trump campaign. So. That's legitimate oversight. What they're doing is just an attack but on the president. don't you think a lot of this is just dangling the, the it, I think it's like red meat to, you know, Probably. dogs that haven't been fed yeah. for, they're just dangling it out there. They have, they have to keep it out there for yeah. their base, which is, they're angry. They're, they, I've never seen angrier people. Not they say exactly. Trump is angry. Trump's actually using a pretty good mood. I mean, you've, you talked to him. I, I mean, he gets mad like anyone else, but the, the anger and the fury and the seething rage is on the left. Come yeah. on. And you know, w w that's funny you say that, Laura, because one thing I tell the folks back home in our district, I wish every single American could spend some time around the president. Because when you're around him, the energy, the charisma, the love he has for our country, for our law enforcement, for our military, it comes through every single time. He's not mad. But they're all mad about no, him. No, but I like the fact that he's never satisfied. He's like, well, we have 4.2 percent unemployment. We want it lower. I like that. You want a president who's never satisfied, even with a phenomenal economy. He wants to make it he better. Wants to keep winning. More manufacturing jobs for your home state. Right. Uh, Congressman Jordan, thank you so you much. Bet.